Pennsylvania is a swing state that played an important role in the recent U.S. presidential election. In the 2020 presidential election, Democratic candidate Joe Biden won the Keystone State's 20 electoral votes. Biden captured 51.3% of the vote with 2,486,522 votes, while President Donald Biden Trump won 11 million while Trump won 12 of the votes, or 47.2%. Philadelphia, the state's largest county, was won by Biden with 73.4% of the vote. Altoona Johnstown was another solidly blue region, with Biden taking 64.4% of the vote. On the red side, Trump won by wide margins in rural areas like Bedford County, where his margin of victory was nearly 60%. Biden gained a substantial advantage in the Philadelphia suburbs, which won him the state by a significant margin. This includes cities like Montgomery County, which Biden won by 11.5 percentage points. Biden also managed to cut Trump's previous margins of victory in certain parts of the state, such as Northampton County. Northampton County had gone to Trump by 5.6 points in 2016 but went to Biden by 0.4 points this time. Results from the down-ballot races were equally interesting, as Democrats won some statewide races. Incumbent Democratic State Treasurer Joe Torzella won his race with 53.4% of the vote. Former Secretary of State Katie McGinty won the race for Auditor General with 51.6% of the vote. The state's General Assembly is now split between Democrats in the Senate and Republicans in the House of Representatives. Democrats now control all three branches of the state government for the first time in a decade. Democrats also made gains on the county level, flipping a number of county boards from Republican to Democratic control. These results were seen as a sign of Democrats' strength in Pennsylvania and a repudiation of President Trump. This was reflected in the voter turnout, which was up 10% from the 2016 election. The strong showing by the Democrats could be an important indicator of how the state will vote in the 2022 midterms. It remains to be seen how the Republican Party will respond to the Democrats' gains in Pennsylvania. The election results indicate that Pennsylvania is becoming more purple and less red. Republicans will have to rethink their strategy if they want to recapture the state. Going forward, the Democrats will be looking to see if they can maintain their newfound dominance in the state. Democrats will need to continue pushing forward with legislation to protect voters' rights if they want to keep their voter base energized.